So we've just measured up for all the timber for the floor and guess who's coming to help me find the wood? Bob! The you builder. Say, Hi Bob. <laughs> so we're off just down to Juicins to see what battening we can get for the floor. Mel is up at the house just measuring up and doing some, some admin. Oh, Bob's leaving us already. So we are measuring for the floor today. We're going to get the insulation down and we're going to get the battening for the floor. Fingers crossed we also get some um, sheeting ply for the floor as well. But we've been measuring, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. <clears throat> and ultimately just getting a better idea for the layout of the van because since the previous video, things don't go according to plan. So I've had to change my whole van layout. So that's what we're doing today. Flooring and insulation. Wish us luck. So we could be looking at something this kind of size. I don't think there's anything smaller. Oh, there's that, which could work too. That could work. It's a bit wide. So this might work, but then we've also got some of that up there which actually looks a better size so we'll go and get the forklift to go and bring us some of that down for us. Mastic, sunny knife, big ass gun. That's heavy duty gun. Heavy duty gun. We love these don't we? It's all going wrong. No, no. Blade is blunt. Oh, that's what I was looking for. No. Yeah, we don't like Poundland tools. We Sorry. like good quality tools that are a bit more robust. We like our tools to be robust. I've just noticed something. Come with me. Even on a brand new van, can you see? Water coming in from the side trims. So that means I need to silicone along all of the outside trim because even in a brand new van, it still happens. So that's not much to worry about. I mean, it did heavily rain really badly last night and yesterday, but still, you do not want that coming into your van on a regular basis. So that means all of these trims need to be sealed with some clear silicone to stop the water from getting in. What's that? The water's already in. No. Yeah? Come on, have a look. No. Oh my God. Nice one, Ford. Hang on, let me just light that up so people can see this. It's, Jesus. Let's put a torch on it. Mel's going to put a torch on so you can see it better rather than mine. Yeah, look at that. So you go, the trims are already leaking. Brand new and it's leaking. Yeah. Well spotted. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely water in there, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. That was more than it was just now because I've just poked it with my finger. Yeah, yeah. absolutely soaking wet. So yeah, people. Brand new full transit, and it's got water in it already. Just goes to show, just because you, you spend win, money, can you? No. you just can't win. It's like you buy a brand spanking new van, and it's still got the same issues that you have to do on any type of van. So we're going to do that today as well, to prevent any water from permanently sitting in on that foam bed, and stop it from rusting on the inside out. That's incredible. Yeah. I didn't think I'd have to do that this time, no. but apparently you do. So I went on ahead and went outside and just siliconed up the two trims on both sides of the van. 
This Ford Transit was actually a lot easier to silicone than my previous VW Crafter because that had a lot more sections and I just wanted to make sure that I did it all properly so I took my time and did that quickly. Now here we are just setting up the layout of the van where we're going to put the battens on the sides of the battens, Mel was just checking how much of a lip he needed to cut off and I am busy just wiping up all of the footprints that we've made on the floor and just generally cleaning the floor so that when we're ready to put the adhesive down, it's got a nice clean surface to stick to. the van a bit dirty the other day when I came in to measure up for some stuff so just quickly brushing that up because otherwise I don't want the timber to have a problem sticking to the floor. figure out where to end all the timber because of the tailgate does it need to be fitted there or does it have to fit there so we're going to put the timber down shut the tailgate hopefully it will push the timber into the right place that's what i'm thinking anyway let's give it a go trouble is i can't reach the tailgate which is going to be a problem epic fail can't reach it I have to get mad to do it in a second Thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to slowly shut this. Maybe not fully, but just see where... Well, you have to shut it all the way. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Shut it fully and then get in the other uh, door, see okay. where it comes up to. It comes up to. So we want to do it roughly about there, I would say. It's going to be tricky because by the time we put the flooring on, that's going to catch on the underside of this tailgate. So I think we're going to have to come back so that the flooring ends just free of the, free of the door. So if I was to demonstrate, so it doesn't snag on this lip here you don't want to get the flooring stuck between these two so we're going to have to step it further back from the door so that it can still be free from this tailgate lip i think that'll be a safer bet anyway hey who is it it's trevor <laughs> you doing all right today hello you say hello <laughs> That's about as much as you get from him. Becky's fridge has arrived. She's very excited. There you go. Okay. I just said for him to reverse, we could put it on the driveway here. Oh. Because it'll be in the way over there. So after we've checked that the fridge fits, we now are just making sure that we've got all of the wood cut for the floor, equally spacing it, and we're trying to do it so that the width of the dodo mat goes in between the struts of the floor. And then we're gonna to have to just cut around the door frame, making this entrance way a little bit sturdier. That's the plan, isn't Very it? Very sturdy. Yeah. So Mel is doing an incredible job doing that. We've already had quite a lot of interruptions with neighbours, so we haven't got on very well Honest. today. <laughs> yeah. We've done, we've been out here for about two hours. And we've, and done, we've done about 20 work. Yeah, it just is always the way with being here at my parents. Lovely neighbours, but you just don't get on very well. And we've said this before in other videos, so I can't believe never mind. Many people just stop and talk. Yeah, I know. Friendly bunch, the Cotswold people. They are very friendly. So we're going to crack on. Cue the music.
Well, if there is anything I can help you with and you're not quite sure, just email me as quick as you can. You don't I'm very know how busy. to do emails. <laughs> <laughs> that won't help. <laughs> Just a little, little strip. Yeah, that's all we need, I think, because it's all brand new. It's going to be super clean. Yeah. So what I've done, I've cut all the strips, laid them all out on the floor, as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is just simply glue them all in place. Hopefully. Yeah. I've notched out a couple of pieces. Make sure it's nice and flat. There you go. So yeah, Mel's just taken out the notches so that it rides over this line that runs through the middle of the van. Then we've done it so that it ends on the back of the van like so. A little bit of wood there to carry, a little bit of wood on the other side to carry, a bit around the wheel well on both sides, and then a strip down by the door because that's the most amount of traction coming into the van. So we're going to stick all these down and then put insulation that in between this is 12 millimeters dodo mat and uh, we're going to put this absolutely everywhere floor walls ceiling look at that arse isn't that a fine arse <laughs> 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 mel's got a lovely bottom when we start driving around cornwall and places and you haven't got to worry about parking. Yeah, and I can't wait for the installation of the big surprise in here. Woo! So Mel's done a fantastic job on his hands and knees. Thank you very much. He has glued down all the battens and staged it round the wheel well and over in the corner there. Same is over on this side, you can see. And then long piece down on this opening edge and then one final to finish. So that's just gonna dry now, isn't it? Doesn't look very fancy but it's effective. Yeah, we're gonna go and get some lunch and we'll come back and hopefully that will have stuck enough for us to start take? cutting the dodo mat. Couple of hours? 24 hours. Oh, 24 hours. Oh, crap, yeah. No. So yeah. We'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow. then. <laughs> <laughs> it takes 24 hours to set, so that's what we can do in the van today. Which is good, you know, we can eventually get round to doing something. So we'll tidy up, we'll go for a walk, yeah. have lunch, and we'll lunch. go for a walk. walk. And we'll take you with us if you want. Would you like to go on a walk with us? Yeah, go on, do it. Yeah.